How many times have you heard this? Sorry, I can't work with your MC. You have no safety inspections. It's been a super hot topic for the majority of this year. You see, quite a few brokers changed their compliance protocol as of the first of the year, where you must have a safety inspection showing on the FMCSA website. Now, an issue I had with one of my carriers, he's been in business since 2006. And a lot of brokers that we worked with last year, as of January 1st, would no longer work with him because he didn't have an inspection in the past two years. And everybody's saying the same thing. Oh, but there's a lot of double brokering. We've had a lot of issues. Some of them were very negative to me and said, well, this is just weird. How can you not have an inspection in two years? It, it doesn't feel right. I don't feel comfortable with you. Well, if there's been no inspection, obviously there's been no issue. You see, some carriers are regional, especially since COVID. Some carriers only stuck around 200 miles of their area. So how often do they get pulled into scale houses? Not really. I tried to explain this to a few brokers that just didn't want to hear it. So how do you get around this? If there are brokers out there that you need to work with, but they have this issue where you don't show a safety inspection. You can actually go to a scale house and request a voluntary DOT inspection. Now I know a lot of you are going to say, no, don't do it. When you volunteer, they're always going to find something that's their job, which it's true. That is their job, but it's the only way to get a DOT inspection. And it's the only way that inspection will show on the FMCSA website. So my carrier has done that. He actually requested a level two and it's recommended to request a level one, but he went all in. Passed, no problem. It's now on the Safer FMCSA website showing one inspection. And it only took a couple days to show there. But now here's a new issue. Carrier 411, which is a very bad word to a lot of carriers in the industry because there's a lot of issues with that organization. But the issue that I'm still facing is even though the FMCSA website, the Safer Company snapshot page, does show the inspection, when you go to the safety measurement system, the SMS results, they don't show it yet. And if they don't show it yet, Carrier 411 has not imported it yet. So I spoke with a broker today that had the same issue. Oh, I don't see an inspection. I told them, well, are you using Carrier 411? Because they have not imported the information. They're not updated yet. FMCSA website does show it. So here's what I found out. The SMS results only gets updated once a month. I actually contacted them and asked them, why is this? And I'll show you some screenshots here. But when I go to the SMS website, it does show that the last inspection that my carrier had was in 2006. So when I emailed them and asked them, how often do they update? Because Carrier 411 doesn't show the information. And they gave me a breakdown. Here's the screenshot. Now I'm going to read off the email exactly what they said. So they say the SMS data updates monthly. A snapshot of the data is taken on the third or fourth Friday of each month, and then it takes approximately 10 days to process and validate the data before it is updated to the website. The current data is based on 24 months of data as of 331. So the next snapshot was taken on 428. An SMS will be updated the week of 5-8. Inspections uploaded to FMCSA between March 1st and April 27th will appear on SMS with the next update. So they only update it once a month. So for any carrier that does get their inspection, Carrier 411 isn't going to show it for a whole month. As soon as a broker tells me that, I tell them, look, we got our inspection a couple weeks ago. FMCSA Safer Company Snapshot shows it. SMS results get uploaded once a month, which means Carrier 411 will not see that for a month. So I have a copy scanned of my carrier's inspection. And it worked. One broker I spoke with, I told them, talk to your compliance department. Tell them I have a copy of the inspection. Show them on Safer website, it shows the inspection. And they approved us. I got to onboard and we booked a load. So there's always small loopholes. So if you have any questions, drop a comment below or hit the Q&A button on the profile to send me a video question. I hope this information was helpful. Thank you and be blessed.